What are good reasons to live? Because the 22nd of February 2022 is February 22nd 2022 and it is also a Tuesday, meaning we can call it Tuesday. You can literally just make garlic bread anytime you want. If you have pets they'll never understand why you left. I don't have reasons to live I only have reasons to not die. Despite how similar those sound they are different, and most people who are content with their lives won't be able to make the distinction. Honestly, I just want to ride it out and see what happens. Us humans are so entertaining. One minute we're blowing each other up, the next we have pet rocks or something. I agree with this random citizen. So you can say to the person mugging you and threatening to kill you what makes you think I have money? Or a will to live? I was mugged once and the only thing I had in my pocket was a book. They didn't even think about taking it, which is good for me but also kinda insulting. Well actually I was mugged twice, but the second was a kid who didn't have a gun, just his hand in his pocket, and we hit him upside the head with a jar of olives. Edit, for everyone asking. The book was most likely Dragonlance Dragons of Autumn Twilight, we had the olives as groceries and we never found them again. I hope this has lightened some of your mornings. If you quit now you won't get to play the futuristic video games we'll actually have the technology to make 99% immersive. As a father I expect to see my kids play those. Not because of being old or something. I just see me buying them and then watching the kids play them. While I wonder if I could afford a second game console, to live to the day April 20th 1969 happens. We Europeans don't get to experience that. Using ISO 8601 we could at least get April 20th 2069, which is close enough. As a fellow man of logic this is the date format that I too use. Music is pretty neat. Floating in a large body of water with no distractions. Also, did you know that if you float on your back in a hot tub with all the jets on that you'll spin in a lazy little circle? I did not know that and it's pretty fun. It's also quite relaxing. If you're careful you can do it while reading a book. If you haven't had a chance to try that yet, you should hang on at least until you do. It's pretty rad. So I am gonna get a job, save some money, buy a hot tub and float around in it. Suicide is off the table guys, until that. If you die mom will be upset. This is true. My son took himself out of this world and it'll never be the same. Life is less without him. Still so painful after 5 years. God, I miss that boy. To see if the Area 51 raid actually happens. Pasta spaghetti, linguine, fusilli, bucatini. Alfredo, tomato, olive oil, pesto. Literally all of them good reasons. Because if you die, it can't get better. Right now, I'm a shaking, emotional mess because I hit rock bottom last night. I am still here because I know from experience that as long as I don't give up, my life has the chance to get better. Hopefully it will but the only way I'll see is by sticking around. Rock bottom to me was over 10 years ago. Even the breakdown of my marriage has been manageable due to knowing that feeling as a basis of comparison. It's a powerful thing to know you've felt as low as a person can feel. You've been dead for eternity before you were born. Let that sink in, an infinite amount of time where you did not exist. And for a universal split second you're alive, after which you will stop existing for an infinite amount of time. In the grand scheme of things, being alive is literally the least likely thing that could have happened. And yet here you are. Dying sucks. Death seems okay. But it's the stuff before that that I'd rather not deal with just yet. When doctors commit suicide, they just take a lot of painkillers, morphine derivatives, not ibuprofen. They have access to all the good stuff. The rest of us just end up damaging our livers. Another reason to live, get a doctorate in medicine to research the most painless way to die. Anything. At one point I was living for the Word Girl series. My life's goal was to watch all of the episodes. That was it. The one thing keeping me alive. A kid's show that I should have grown out of years ago. There is never a bad reason to live. Never a stupid one. Any reason to live is a good one, especially if it's all you can think of at the moment. The smell of a fresh rain, the smell of flowers, being able to cuddle your pet, the taste of your favorite food, 
being able to finish out your favorite TV shows. And for me, add being able to know how the book you are reading concludes. I'm now reading November 22, 1963 by Stephen King and I sure want to know how it ends. Simple, I'm not done here, and I guess I'm not allowed to die until I am. I fucking tried to kill myself, drove my car off a forest ravine at 95 miles per hour, fucking went right through the trees for about 50 feet then landed on the, the road on the other side of the S-Bend. Car had a small dent in the front bumper, and half inch chip missing, both from the winding road sign I took out right before the ravine, but not a scratch otherwise. I went back to look, there was no gap between the trees big enough for a car. Years later, I tried to blow my brains out with shotgun. Pulled the trigger, nothing happened. Sat there for like 10 seconds, then took the barrel away from under my chin, and the exact second it was clear, it went off jumping out of my hands and missing me by a few degrees. So yeah, I don't know what the fuck I believe in, but if there is a god, I guess he wants me to stay on earth for a while longer, presumably because I'm supposed to help someone. Figure I'll just help as many people as I can until I hit my quota or whatever and eventually get to die. Woo. Dead tongues taste no pineapple juice. Still taste my nut juice though. R slash even with context r slash especially with context dude the universe woke up do you understand how fucking crazy that is after billions of years of chaos and evolution a tiny part of the universe arranged itself in such a way that it was able to say holy shit i exist that shouldn't have happened it's the most unlikely thing imaginable you are the subjective consciousness of the universe itself the universe woke up and it is you don't fucking squander it Fuck you, I'll squander it if I like. Hit snooze one more time. I, I just don't see a future for me, it's impossible for me to imagine a possible future, I'm just lost and don't want to feel sad all the time anymore. To live can be a terrible burden. But it is also the only chance you have to see another sunrise. I always found the lowest points to be the best time to just start something new. A new hobby can be completely free. Paint draw right live to get better to see what new thing you can make finding people to talk to about this sadness whether a real therapist or just a family member slash friend is very important my inbox is also always open if you don't feel you have someone to speak to as superman said all i know is that we have to try that's what life is we try we push back against the darkness just a little Nearly every problem someone has is a temporary problem. Death is a very permanent solution to a series of temporary problems. It's weird hearing Superman, or any superhero, say death is permanent when he died and came back. Sunshine and wind. Sometimes in the deepest pits of my depression and when I'm ready to end it, I'll go for a walk and the sun is just so damn beautiful and warm, that I stay alive just so I can keep seeing it. You can't stop being dead ever if you stay alive you have the rest of your life to do stuff improve the planet get rich give others the start you wish you'd had i'd love to be able to press pause or create a new character but i'm definitely not ready to put the game down forever knowing that you are somehow in some way a part of someone's day and routine and if you disappeared their life would be missing something that you never know what'll happen tomorrow and it just might be something good if you have a pet no one could possibly love and bond with them like you could. And that living would spite everyone that wanted you not to. If you kill yourself you'll never have a chance to try again. Something interesting may happen, you never know. We will all die anyway so live life on your own terms and take whatever comes. You deserve the opportunity to reach your highest potential. Music, find the right artist for you and listen away. It could help drown out the bad for a while. I like to think I'm matching myself into the paths of every atom I touch. Even after the solar system is dust, there will be modes directly or indirectly affected by the fact I lived a life at some point. These things will have their trajectories forever marked by my existence, even if they are small and quiet particles or wakes of heat. Perhaps my actions will inspire others and the far off entropies will have a little more ripple as a result. All the good shows and good games that you are going to miss. 
cannot die before playing all of the FF7 Remake games. I bought my PS4 cause I thought FF7 Remake could be released in 2017, I'm still waiting. Myself. It sounds completely self-centered, I know. But I spent almost my whole life sticking around because other people needed me. And don't get me wrong, that's also a very valid reason. But that's a lot of responsibility on them. After my suicide attempt almost 10 years ago, I swore I'd never put my mom through that again. She was my whole world. She needed me and I needed her. And when she got sick, we needed each other more than ever. In her last few months me and my sister were her carers so she was completely dependent on us. My world stopped. I dropped out of college, I barely socialized. I had no life outside of looking after my terminally ill mother. Now if I had the chance, I'd do it the exact same way all over again. I don't regret it. But once she died all I could think was what now? I pushed it all on my sister. We only had each other. And when things got tough I told myself I couldn't leave her and she needed me. Again, all very valid and true. But I was miserable. Living felt like a chore, a responsibility I had been forced into. So I got my ass into gear. Went to therapy, started going to the gym. Did some online courses. Got into a relationship with a wonderful person. Soon I'm hoping to quit my job because I can't stand it, but I need the security of a new one first. In September I am finally going back to college and doing my last year. Gonna get that degree. I'm living for myself now because I deserve to. There's so many places I want to go, and so much as tough I want to do. Sure, one day I plan on having kids and then they will become my world and my number one. But right now I'm 24, and it's time for me to be a little bit selfish. For more videos like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, don't forget to check out our other videos and thanks for watching. Also don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie.